Okay, so this is going to be a two-part tutorial. In the first part, we'll just uh, add the custom field with the custom type. And then in the second part, we'll actually review a bit uh, what's the logic behind it and uh, what, what's actually happening, how it works. So the very first thing that we'll do is we'll uh, go to the admin panel. We'll uh, go down to the studio section here. We'll pick uh, one of the modules uh, for which we want to add that uh, field. Let's say, um, okay, let's say it will be bugs. Then we need to add the actual field. We'll do add field here. We'll type in the name. Um, okay, let's say YouTube uh, custom here. We do save and that has been saved. So the next thing that we'll do is we'll uh, go to our actual uh, server and here we'll navigate over to the section. So it's the folder custom modules. Uh, we'll go down to the, um, this is going to be the, the module for which we're adding stuff, right? And it's here, it's been uh, created. So basically just to show you this, this is what it looks like now, right? So then let's go back. We're going to go to the still inside the studio inside the box section. We'll click on layouts here and we're going to add it to the detail view and to the edit view. So we'll click detail view. Here we'll add a new panel. Here we have two basically uh, filler fields. What we'll do is we'll select one of the fields and then drag it here on this side and then it's going to replace it with one single field. So that's, that's a, like an easy uh, trick, uh, way to do it. So save and deploy. Do the same thing for edit view. So edit view, YouTube done, save and deploy, close. So let's go back to our server and just see what happened. So we'll refresh and now we see the folder called metadata. We'll go back to it when once we analyze what's actually happening in the background. But uh, in the meanwhile, uh, let's just drag this over to the to the local machine to work with it. We're going to open up bugs, metadata, bugs, metadata. Then here, what we'll do is, uh, okay, why didn't it? Okay, so here it is. So we'll open it up. Actually, we're not gonna open it up. So the next thing that we'll do is we'll actually create a new custom sugar field. So um, the way that we do it is we go to custom here. And we'll go to include, we'll go to sugar fields, we select field, we'll just pretend that this wasn't there. Okay, so custom, include, sugar fields, fields, YouTube, and then let's open it up. Um, let's actually create a brand new one here. So this is what the file is going to look like. So the very first part is we're basically evaluating if we do have data in that field, if data has been filled up in that field, we'll see exactly what I mean by that. Then we take the markup here, we insert it. Uh, and so what the field is going to do is going to show us a, a YouTube video. So it's, uh, it's going to show us a specific YouTube video of our choosing. So here's the markup. Um, it's the simple HTML markup, but you can see here the uh, uh, this is the format. It basically is going to insert the uh, the field value. So whatever we filled up in the field is going to is going to end up here. So then we're going to save it, and the name that we're going to give it is detailview.tpl. TPL is a uh, is a template. Uh, basically, it's a it's, it's a template uh, file. So we're going to save it, and we're going to upload it. First, we're going to create. YouTube folder. We're going to upload it here. So none of this makes sense and that's fine. We'll see it in the second section of the video. So right now just bear with me where we're creating this field and everything is going to be crystal clear. It's super simple to understand once you just uh, do it a few times. Okay, so that part is done. And right now what we'll do is we'll go back to our previous section where we were before. So custom, we'll go to uh, modules, bugs, metadata. So I want to do this on my local machine, custom bugs, metadata, da, 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 da. okay, so we're in the same folder. 
we're going to open up this file here. We'll go down to the section called, um, so this is the section that deals with that uh, field that we added in Studio. Type is going to be YouTube. We're going to save it. Here we're going to uh, upload that file to the server. So basically the file is now there. Then the next step is to do, um, we're going to repair and rebuild. I just want to make sure that, I just wanted to make sure that my fields are there. Okay, so we're going to go to admin and we're going to do repair. So this is going to register our uh, changes. We can repair and rebuild, this is done. Okay, so right now we're going to go to the bugs section. So the bugs uh, uh, module that is. Okay, so we're in the section bugs, we're going to create a new bug. So just to fill it up with some uh, dummy data. And here we have that field that we created in studio before, remember? So we're gonna take this link here, insert it here, we'll do save. And that minor bug is created. And right now we're in detail view and we see this uh, link has been added. So basically, so this completes just like the step by step. If you if you don't care about what's going on, this is this is good for you just to get your uh, hands dirty and uh, practice creating a new field. Uh, and right now we'll just break down exactly what what it is that we did. Okay. So in the beginning, uh, what we saw before, what we saw is the creation of a field inside the studio. And the only reason why we do it is because we wanted to create that metadata file that we talked about uh, before. So inside the <clears throat> modules, bugs, before, remember this met metadata file wasn't there. And as soon as you create and modify something in Studio, this is when you get this metadata file. So the metadata file, what it does is that it, it provides definitions in terms of the um, information related to the fields. So how the information should be presented. So metadata, information about data, right? So in our case, it's not only a new field that we're adding, it's a custom field. So it's a custom field in a, field in a sense that what, what it does right now um, is very uh, unique. It's, it's not uh, a field like that doesn't exist in the system yet. It shows us a YouTube video. So how do we do it? The um, next step in the process was to create the um, custom field type. And all of the fields in SugarSweet CRM, they have their own respective folders that contain that field types information. And what I mean by that is if we look at any of the fields inside uh, SugarCRM, so let's go here, for example, contacts. So <clears throat> we'll open it up just to see um, so first name is a field type. It's basically like a, a text field type. Uh, you have here other field types. For example, there's going to be a drop down. There's going to be an address, uh, or I mean rather a, a date where you have like the where you're checking mar uh, where you're selecting dates. There's going to be a sub panel with uh, related information from a related module. So uh, you're inside this field and you want to select info from a different. Uh, module. So for example, you're inside opportunities and you want to select a user, you're going to be fetching user from another module. So that's also a field. Basically, these are fields and all these fields, they have their own uh, definitions that basically define how the field behaves, what it has. So that's why when we go to the custom, include sugar fields, fields, here by creating this folder that we just created, before we created a new field type, right? And when we open up that field type, we see here that we have the detail view uh, template file. The um, list of files that you see will depend on the uh, field type. So for example, for this field type, we only have this file. Other field types, they will have multiple view templates. They will have uh, 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 processing logic associated with them, like for example, a PHP file that's going to process the data that comes in. This one is pretty straightforward, so we only have one file to work with. And when we open it up, we can see what is what is going on here. So this part here, it basically says, okay, so if we have 
something filled up here in this field, this is what it is, key value. If it's filled up, then we need to display it using this markup here, right? And that ev this evaluates it at uh, runtime. So this is not like a static uh, template that's, that, that ne that's never gonna change. By including these fields, we're evaluating uh, stuff as it happens. So basically, uh, I mean, as it happens, uh, as we're loading that field, we're always going to evaluate the, the contents of this. So whatever that we have in this field here, right? And so this is done. So right now that means that we have a custom sugar field created by creating that template. So right now the only thing that's left to do is to associate this uh, field that we created with that custom field that we also created. And it will make more sense as we take a look at this file here. So this is the file that we opened before. I'll show you exactly where, where it's found. We'll go back and this needs to be done uh, over, like I would recommend doing this five times and then it's gonna start making more sense. So right now we're gonna go to the uh, custom, we're gonna go to the modules, we'll select bugs, we'll go to metadata, detail view dev. So when we opened it up, this detail view dev, it's uh, as mentioned before in the documentation, you're going to see it as metadata. So this is going to show us the fields that are currently present inside uh, that uh, inside that module. So by scrolling down to this part here, before we didn't have this. So this was evaluated by uh, Sweet CRM as a regular text field that doesn't actually do anything. So let's save and, and see exactly what I mean. So we're going to change the um, this thing here. I'm going to just repair and rebuild in the background and come back to you. Okay, so I updated, repaired, I'm going to refresh. And this is just going to be uh, okay, I'm not in uh, in the bugs uh, uh, module. That's why it's not working. So we're gonna go module is bugs. We're gonna open it up. Minor bugs. Select that. And so here you see it's just the text, the regular text field with with data that uh, with data that's in it. And by adding that custom field type here, you see what I'm doing. I'm associating this regular plain vanilla text field that doesn't do anything, just displays text. And I'm saying, you know what? This is not a plain vanilla type. This is a YouTube type, uh, a, a new unique uh, field that we created, field um, type that we created. And if you look at that, that name here, if you remember what we did before when we created it, we gave it the exact same name. So the sugar fields fields YouTube this is what you see here. So when Sweet CRM goes to this field, it looks at this field, it's like, uh -huh, okay, so what's the type of this field? It's YouTube. Let me go and see what YouTube um, field type does actually. Okay, so Sweet CRM uh, comes here. It looks at the detail view. It says, okay, so when in detail view, what do we do? Uh -huh, okay, so I need to see what is the content of that field. And then what I need to do is take the content of that field, um, concatenated to the end of this URL and then basically display the video, right? So I'm, right now I'm just going to repair again just to show you. So we're going to save. <clears throat> then I'm going to upload back, back again. And it's always good to see these things in, uh, in real time as it happens. Okay, so quick repair and rebuild. Always do quick and repair, repair and rebuild if you want to update your modifications. Then we go here, we're going to do refresh. And voila, we have our video showing here. Why? Simply because as explained before, right now, Sweet CRM knows that this is a, a, a custom field type that has its own folder, that has its own template, that evaluates the input and then creates this embedded video. If you found the video at all helpful, please leave a like and subscribe because I'll be making more of these in the future. Thank you.